Hello folks, my name is Frank George and I represent Studio Replenish. You all know what's rocking the world today. The coronavirus, which is the pandemic. It got me wondering what's going on because Earth right now have recorded a massive death. People do they die like say tomorrow, no day. And the government are on their toes and nothing is really working. Parents have been asked to stay out of work. Kids have been asked to stay at home from school. So it got me thinking in all this. Well, in all this, that's taking me back to my experience. As I hit the street yesterday, you know, going to work as a normal routine, I was waiting for a taxi and the street was so empty. It kept me wondering what is going on. And as I kept on walking, I saw some persons. Immediately I saw these people, I was relieved. I felt it in my heart. But all of a sudden, I saw some fox men, the policemen, hitting and dragging them. So that got me thinking what is going on. The government has given the directive that you must stay at home for your own good. And I walked close to them and I discovered that they were being asked to leave because the government has asked everybody to stay at home. Everybody must stay indoor because of the coronavirus pandemic. So all of a sudden, I decided to do a transaction in the bank. As I went close to the bank, the security man came up and asked me if I have sanitized my hand. <laughs> well, I got me thinking, so what did they soap again now for this town? So I need to sanitize my hand before I go into that bank again. Well, that was my coach speaking. But you know, as a, as a perfect gentleman, I need to do what the security man says. So I went close to the sanitizer. I sanitized my hand. But as he saw me sanitizing my hand, he started smiling at me. So I started wondering, although I went into the bank and did my transaction, and I came out, so although I noticed something, there were just few folks inside the bank. Right now, it takes me back to the old, I mean the Bible. In the book of Revelation, how rapture is going to take place. I can really link or connect the dots from this hand sanitizer to the mark of the beast, which is being spoken about in the book of Revelation. Imagine the 666 as the hand sanitizer. Because right now on earth, if your hand is not sanitized, you can't be able to enter, you can't be able to do any transaction in the bank. Just like if you don't have the mark of the beast, which is a 666 that the book of Revelation talked about, you can't be able to do transaction. Now imagine if you don't have the mark of the beast, you can't be able to do transaction in the bank. You can't say, which means kids can go to school and you can't eat. Now, I want to compare rapture with the coronavirus, the pandemic that is eating the earth today. Imagine if coronavirus could keep everybody at home today. What if rapture take place? Where will you be? Will you be rapturable? Will you be carried along with the innocent folks that's going to be with God up there? Because I can't see any difference between the act that is playing between the COVID-19 and the rapture. Because this is how rapture is going to be. Some person is going to be taken away and some person is going to be left behind. You are the same way some persons are staying at home and some are on the street. And you discover those on the street are fewer than those in the house. So brethren, I'd like you to understand that the word of God stands firm. And all he has said in the old is going to repeat itself now. And that's how rapture is going to come without our notice. Thank you and God bless you.